How's it going, everybody? Welcome back. And a quick video just to address this question, which is, can a VPN be hacked? Now, while a VPN can provide an extra layer of security and privacy, it's important to understand that it is not a foolproof solution and still can be vulnerable to hacking. Now, there are several ways a VPN can be hacked. First of all, a malicious VPN. Now, some VPNs can be run by hackers who are looking to steal your personal information or data. So be sure to be using a very good and reliable and reputable VPN. Now, of course, I have these three VPNs to suggest. I've tested over a couple of dozen VPNs and I've narrowed it down to Express Nord and Surfshark as the best overall. Of course, they all vary in budgets and features, so pick and choose depending on your own situation and your own budget and specific needs and preferences. Now, moving on, the second potential vulnerability is man-in-the-middle attacks. In a man-in-the-middle attack, a hacker intercepts your internet connection and tries to steal your data. A VPN can actually help to protect against man-in-the-middle attacks, but it is not foolproof. So again, you need to be using a VPN with true encryption, the military grade AES 256 bit encryption, which all these VPNs do have. Also, you've got protocol vulnerabilities because VPNs use various protocols to secure your internet connection. But these protocols can sometimes have vulnerabilities that hackers can exploit. Um, so, for example, with ExpressVPN, you'll notice here in the options, we only have the most secure protocols available. So you've got lightweight UDP and TCP, which are the proprietary protocols for ExpressVPN, OpenVPN and IKEV2. Notice that you don't have uh, L2TP. Now, L2TP used to be an option with ExpressVPN, but it was removed uh, because it was not as secure as the others. So if you're using a reliable VPN, you won't even be able to access uh, protocols that are less secure, and you'll only have access to the most secure protocols. You also have server vulnerabilities, not just protocol vulnerabilities. So if a VPN is not properly configured, it may be vulnerable to hacking. So again, using a reputable VPN, such as Express Nord and Surfshark, for example, uh, you'll be accessing secure servers that are protected by the provider, and they're very well maintained. Uh, so you won't really have any problems if you're using a good VPN. Uh, also, password cracking. Now, if you use a weak password for your VPN, it may be easier for a hacker to crack it and gain access to your VPN connection. Uh, or if you're, let's say, using a VPN that's not really as well known or reputable, they may be using weaker keys to protect your connection. And so it's important to use a secure VPN uh, that uses perfect forward secrecy. And basically, perfect forward secrecy is a property that ensures that the compromise of a long term key, such as a private key or shared secret, uh, at some point in the future cannot be used to decrypt past or future communication. This is achieved by generating a unique session key for each session and then discarding it after the session is complete. Perfect forward secrecy is an important security feature that helps to protect against the compromise of long-term keys and is often used with transport layer security uh, or also known as TLS to secure internet communication. So if by some miracle, for example, a hacker is able to decrypt um, your connection and was able to access your data, all they're going to get is simply 60 minutes of traffic and that is it. Um, and obviously, if they want to access more of your information, they will have to decrypt another key because perfect forward secrecy is constantly generating new keys and encrypting your traffic over and over again every 60 minutes. And so in short, yes, a VPN can be hacked, but it takes a lot of money and skill to uh, hack it. And even then, a VPN that uses the military grade 256 bit encryption and um, a VPN also that has a strict nullox policy will be incredibly difficult to hack. And it's almost impossible unless there's a lot of money and a lot of supercomputing going on. So yes, a VPN may be hackable, but not if you're using a good, reliable VPN. So that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys are interested in any of these VPNs, you'll find links to special discounts, uh, pricing, and reviews in the description down below. Besides that, comment below if you have any questions. I'll be happy to answer all of them. Like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything VPNs and cybersecurity. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.